I've just celebrated my birthday. I've turned 23. Woo! So for my birthday, I got loads of presents, which I'm going to show you right now. Uh, some of you know, I actually went on holiday to Spain uh, last week, and uh, I thought I'd treat myself. So here's a couple of things that I got for myself. I got this bam, this lovely little fan. I really like it. I love all the polka dots, and obviously it's red, and red's my favourite colour and the black polka dots and it's actually a really good fan it fans you really well there were so many different ones they had like a black one with with red dots on it and there was uh, like green ones and white ones and ones with loads of flowers and stuff but um i chose the red one because it's my favorite color so the next thing i bought for myself yes i splashed out i know i bought these amazing sunglasses look at them and they're red again obviously because red's my favorite color i love this so cute. And then I got all these amazing little things. Okay, so I like going to the arcade. Do you know what like the deal or no deal game is? And you know, you win these little tickets. So my cousin got me all these tickets. Um, I don't know how many they are, but I'm gonna turn them down Rumford and trade them in. There's a funny story actually. There's a, there's a game, which like at the Wheel of Fortune, you pull the lever down and the thing goes round and it has like different numbers, like 20, 10, five. And one of them says like 500 tickets. But on the corner of that box, it's got 10. So you think it stopped at 500, but it actually stops at 10. And it always stops at 10 for me, but I pulled it and it actually landed on 500. And literally all the tickets that were coming out, I thought the machine was going to break. It took at least 15 minutes for all 500 tickets to come out. And there was this little cute kid on the side and he was like, oh my God. 500 tickets! And he had to go and get his friend as well. And they're like, oh my god, 500! Ah. So yeah, 500, yay! I got some books from mum and dad. Uh, so this first one I got is Popular Writing, 10 Steps to Effective Storytelling. Uh, so I got that so it could help me with my songwriting. Uh, I do like reading books, but not really fiction books. I like reading books about music, uh, composing music, uh, writing music, the history of music, geeky music stuff, lyric writing, top 10,000 songs of the world, that kind of stuff. So each year for my birthday and Christmas, I always ask for music books. So it's uh, the norm. And another book that they got me is Gothic Charm School Jokes. A uh, bit of backstory guys, um, yes I am quite dressed up and that is because uh, I was a goth when I was younger um, and then I got really self conscious about it and I've always liked rock music and gothy music and stuff uh, but now <laughs> my brother's in the background doing this. <laughs> Uh, but now I'm older, um, I think it's about time that I am myself. I've always liked dark clothing and dark things anyway. Um, don't get me wrong, you know, I like purple and blue and other colours apart from black. But um, I do like that, that is the kind of uh, way I am. So uh, you'll be seeing a lot more darkness of me. Yay! And I'm dyeing my hair blue soon, people. So blue hair! Yay! For the win. So there, this, my mum got this for me. I think it's because... She was uh, she's trying to make a joke out of it or something, so. So then, my dear friend, Sheen and Misha, ha! They got me uh, these lovely cups. So as I said, I'm a music geek. Uh, like, honestly, I love piano and musical things. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I go onto musicroom.com, which is like a music site where you can buy music books, music, you know, accessories and things. And like, I've got these guitar bags. I've got uh, treble clef, uh, paper clips. I've got a piano socks, uh, do you know what, if I could kit myself out I'd probably have musical bedding, musical walls, uh, my old bedroom actually I stuck um, music scores on, as wallpaper on the wall, it looks kind of cool but uh, I don't sleep in there anymore, my mum decided to take over. Uh, so she knows this, she and Misha know this, so they bought me these little cups, look how cute that is and there's four, but only three have come through, but look at that, yeah, musical scotch glasses and here's the other one this is my one this is my favorite one look that's piano oh it's so cute so cute and this one's for my boyfriend so he plays drums so i'm gonna keep this when we move in and then i'm gonna make sure he drinks water out of this one because he doesn't drink a lot of water so but that's kind of cute look at the design on that and uh, there is a fourth one coming, but it hasn't come through the post yet. But I'm guessing that one's probably going to be like a guitar one. And finally, I've got this massive uh, thing. I don't know what it was. I thought it was a poster, maybe of S Club 7. <laughs> because yes, I do like S Club 7. 
uh, and uh, I saw them recently on their UK tour and I was like right at the front, it was amazing. This is from my cousin by the way, uh, who got me the, uh, the arcade things, but she got me this and this is so cute and I'm going to frame this. Uh, in 2013 we went to Vegas and we only went for a week and if anyone's been to Vegas uh, or thinking about going to Vegas you definitely need more than a week to go because there's so much to do oh my gosh it's like you've got the clubs and then you've got the whole strip and then you've got all the rides and then you've got all the shows and then you want to go to the Grand Canyon and you want to go to Hoover Dam and you want to go to Boulder City and you want to go everywhere and then you know we were thinking about going to LA uh, for a week after that but we just stuck at Vegas and we only went for a week and I, I think I'm going to go there next year again because number one Celine Dion's there uh, and number two there's just so much to do and it's like the best place ever I mean we didn't even go to a pool party like and those things happen we didn't even go clubbing and like oh my gosh and then you've got all the casinos and it's amazing so um, definitely need to go back there but when we did go in 2013 we went to the Grand Canyon and we sat on the edge of the canyon and someone took a picture of us and you can see all the, the background and the whole canyon behind you and it's so cute and so she basically took this photo of us sitting on the edge of the world. Okay. Yes, Grand Canyon. So that's me and that's Jess, my cousin. And that is gonna go on my wall, all framed up and everything. Okay, so uh, that's my birthday presents done for you. I've got a bit of money as well, but there's no point in showing you that. Um, and for my birthday, uh, my boyfriend took me out uh, to Bromford Dogs, the dog racing track, because he works for the company called Corals, uh, which is a betting company, and uh, no, I did not uh, win anything. We did guess two dogs correct, but we were eating at the time, so we didn't bet. Uh, and we also went to Crazy Golf, and uh, I came second. And Mitchell came first, obviously, because he always chats that, you know, he's better at golf or whatever, but I'm the better one at bowling, so, you know. Anyway guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, hopefully I'll probably do a Christmas one or something and I've got some more covers coming up uh, for you guys as well, uh, so stick around for them. Um, I'm also starting a blog as well, so uh, the link will be uh, at the bottom somewhere uh, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.